this is going to be a quick video going over the February the 24th patch notes. There's not too much in this, but they have adjusted some of the patch notes for the Season 2 update, uh, which is relatively important here uh, that we need to go over. Now, some of the information might already be found out by sim.gg or True Game Data, so um, some of this might be a little bit repeated, but obviously we're getting it through the official channels now. Uh, we've got some general bug fixes, which also don't need to go over too much here. Weapon tuning is the main thing we tend to cover. So the RPK now should have increased initial bullet vertical recoil. So overall just increased the recoil, increased horizontal recoil as well and reduced damage ranges. So basically they're now nerfing the RPK here. Uh, then we've got the cast of 762, reduced the damage ranges on that as well. So I'm not too sure this has already taken place with the season 2 update or if this is a new update on top of the season 2 update it's kind of hard to figure that one out but it seems like it's a recent update because the blackout rounds on the hemlock were hit scan uh, pretty much earlier today but now with this new rolled out update they have now uh, taken that aspect away making the hemlock still a great gun to be honest by itself but obviously nerfing out those blackout rounds ferric now has reduced fire damage we'll obviously need to test this to see what that exactly means and reduce the damage against armor so it's going to require two additional bullets to break armor plates so that is actually probably quite a big change to make the fennec not a viable option because two bullets is quite a lot um when you're actually in game and using this gun so again we'll need to see how that plays out in terms of ttk numbers and all that good stuff FTAC recon, increased sprint speed, not really important there. Uh, Luckman 762, probably also not too important either uh, with the changes here. Increased damage range, reduced ADS. The, the kind of semi-automatic rifles in this game are not really that um, important or powerful because people don't really use it. We do have the TAC V here though, uh, which has reduced near damage. So the close range damage is nerfed, making it less viable as a sniper support. Not really too sure why they've done this. Um, and they've also um, conned the recoil of this gun a little bit more as well with the previous update. So kind of a bit annoying there. Reduced muzzle velocity, which is not really necessary reduced far damage range as well and reduced movement speed so just overall attack v got a hard nerf which it didn't really need because it wasn't like completely broken or anything to begin with uh, attachment tuning here incendiary ammo and um, residual incendiary damage will no longer eliminate players so that is basically indicated more towards the sniper rifles um so that is really annoying and obviously it's going to state that more down here as well i don't know if this also affects the new shotgun as well because that is also broken right now with the dragon's breath rounds fix an issue that prevented residual incendiary damage from being applied to armor i don't really know if that was the case fix an issue that allowed sniper rifles to down players with three armor plates in a single shot using incendiary ammunition so this basically means that sniper rifles in this game probably will never have a one-shot kill which is kind of really upsetting to be honest because it just means that they're really focusing on making sure sniper rifles don't have that one-shot headshot and i'm disappointed about that personally and i don't even use snipers so let's see how that goes so some multiplayer fixes as well here don't want to talk about that spec ops fixes here don't really want to talk about that warzone 2 playlist i have got solos duos trios and quads and then we've got sheikah island solos which is apparently new and we've also got quads as well uh, which is cool we've got some general uh, graphic element fixes on the new Ashika map and we've got some general bug fixes um We've got bug fixes when it comes to the loadout drop and also the solos are still use the 2v2 gulag. That's not really too important either. And that is pretty much it for the most part. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.